Hello guys and welcome back. So in this series I'm going to be teaching you how to create a game from start till finish. The game I'm going to be creating is a top-down shooter, um, but not much more has been uh, set for how the game is going to look. But let's just get started with a new project. I'm just gonna call it top-down shooter game. And in here I'm just going to make the first class, which will be the main class. So here we type main. A and in here I'm just going to set up for the basic um, a basic J-frame. So you start off by creating the main. So we go public static void main. And then just standard Java. And um, we create the J-frame. So go J-frame F equals new J-frame. Whoops. Um, and we're going to need to import this. And now um, I'm actually going to create a new class. This class is going to be called uh, the game class, which which obviously is where the game is going to be run, and it's the it's the it's the class that's going to um, be used to draw with as well. So we're going to go extends J panel here and import this J panel. Super. So now back in the main class, we're going to add this J panel to the J frame. So we go f dot add, and we're going to just just go new game. There we go. I'm just going to set some uh, the size first off to standard. Let's say 800 times 600, and then set the visible to true. And last but not least, set the default close operation. There we go. And set it to exit on close. This, sh this way the J-frame will also close when we close the program. So, um, now this main class is basically done. What we need to do is go into our, um, our game. game class. And in here we're going to create two functions. First off, first off we're going to create the public void paint component. Um, this class uh, is built into the J panel and it is the class where we're going to be drawing from. So the text argument yeah, graphics G and you're just going to import that. Uh, and now I'm going to create a class called um, refresh um, sleep and refresh. This will basically be our, um, our, our, our it's not a class. It's it's a function that we'll call to refresh the program. So first off, here we're just going to um, type this sleep and refresh, and we're going to create this. So what we're going to do here is going um, to be first off try and sleep. So we surrounded by a try loop. We go Fred dot sleep. And we're going to sleep for um, 1000 divided by 30, which is going to be roughly 30 p FPS. And then we're going to catch exception E. Oops. And then last but not least, we're going to go and type repaint. This way uh, it will repaint our, uh, rerun our paint component. There we go. Okay, so now we have a running game, but nothing really happening in the game now. We can try and run it and as an application, it's just a screen. So what we're going to do now is create our player class. Um, let's just name it player. And in here, um, make some quick variables like x and y position and the size of the player. I'm going to set the size to 30. And this is the standard. We're going to set the starting x to 50 and starting y to 50. And we're just going to add a constructor for this player. And I'm going to add a function that it's going to be drawing the player. So we go um, void draw player. And it's going to be taking the argument graphics g so we can draw with something. So we're going to need to import this as well. And now we can go g g dot set uh, color. I'm going to set it to color dot red, and that that will be imported as well. 
and then we can just draw uh, or oh, sorry fill in rectangle with the x and y position and just the size as the width and the height so now uh, what we need to do is um, actually create this player object in our game so here we go um, up here we go player player object I'm just gonna call player O equals new player up and there we go and in here we are going to call the function we made inside here the draw player and we're just gonna go player object uh, dot draw player and now pretty much we have the player drawn on the screen like so um, and the last thing I'm going to be doing in this tutorial is uh, adding it so you can move around with the, the uh, your keyboard so what we're going to go here is type implements implements key listener and I'm just going to import key listener and then uh, Eclipse has this inbuilt function where I can go add unimplemented uh, methods and down here we see it, it, it imp implemented the the function key pressed, key released, um, key typed I'm just going to erase these auto generated things so uh, first off we're actually going to be creating a new um, variable called a new boolean called keys and it's going to be an array so set it equal to new boolean and it's going to be for long and actually I'm going to make this static so we can access it from the player class so down here we go um, if argument 0 this is the argument is called in the function uh, and you go dot get key code then we if that is equal to key event dot get sorry dot vkw so what this pretty much checks is when this function is called the argument um, in it we check if the key code is equal to w so pretty much if w is being pressed and then we set keys 0 equals true um, and key 0 will be w and 1 keys 1 will be a and so on so we have the w a s d uh, movement just gonna qu quickly write it all here so next thing we're going to do is copy all of this because now the keys will be set to true when the uh, button is pressed and when it, it is released we want to set them back to false so just down in the key released we're going to paste it in and and uh, change all the true to false now the last thing we want to do is create a function in the player here where we go uh, void movement so here we're going to go if uh, game dot keys because it was static we can access it from here and if uh, the zero there is true that means uh, the key w is being pressed I'm just going to go y minus minus pretty much uh, moving the player upwards I'm going to do the same for key 1 key 2 and key 3 to so key 1 that's going to be a so that means x it's going to be minus moving left and this is going to be y plus plus and x plus plus for right and now the last thing we need to do is just go in here go uh, play object dot movement and I'm going to run it just to check it all functioning well well actually I think there's one thing I've forgotten yeah it cannot move there's one thing I've forgotten here um, I'm just going to make a constructor here so go public game and in this constructor I'm going to um, set some variables so that this uh, key listener is actually going to work so first off go this dot add key listener and in here you just type this as well so we add a key listener to this class and then next up we go set focus level 
and then set that to true. Um, this way we can actually uh, use these commands. So now try and run it again. And as you can see, it's moving around, but it's having a, it's a pretty, it's like a long straight snake. It has a trail behind it. And the reason for that is because uh, we need to, before this, we need to go g.clearact. Um, pretty much so we clear the area we're going to be drawing in. But now that we want it, it, it should be all, as, as you can see, it's all smooth and it's uh, moving rather slowly but um, it's moving and it's it's working as intended so that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm going to be uh, probably doing some of the shooting that's going to be happening in this game and um, how to rotate the player and how to shoot and and whatnot but uh, thanks for watching guys and see you next time